grind of spring training is behind you. How much is that relief that opening day is finally here? I, mean, I, th I think it's a you know, it's like, it's like a year long process. You know, athletes, baseball players these days. You know, we, we really have a, a really shortened off season. You know, we, we got a lot of stuff to work on. Guys are bigger, stronger, faster, and uh, it takes a lot more prep work and and you know, work behind the scenes to get ready for the season. So you know, I kind of view it as like a just come comes in waves. You know, I think I'm. Um, I'm just more and more relieved to get through spring training very happy and healthy and confident in, in my ability to go out there and be myself on the field when I all count. So um, now that that's done, you know, we kind of check that off the list and now we take it, you know, pitch by pitch and day, day by day out here. So it's game one of 162, obviously, and I'm just excited to get it going. As a guy who's been in other organizations, sometimes you don't really know about the guys in the other locker room. Who's the guy that's impressed you the most that, you know, surprised you like, wow, I didn't know that this guy was this guy? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, moving organization to organization, whether you have an off season to do it or get traded overnight, you know, I, I think we try to do our best to kind of know what we're walking into, who we're who we're going to be around. So I, I did a lot of research on a lot of guys, and I was pretty familiar with a you know a number of them. But I think the one that stood out to me the most um, was definitely Francisco Lindor. Um, you know, super vibrant. You know, big personality on the field. All you know, all smiles. Obviously, coined by his nickname, but. You know, when you kind of see him work every day, um, you know, that, that dude is regimented beyond, um, you know, anyone that I've, I've really ever worked alongside with, you know, some of the best ones, you know, he's right up there with him. And, and I think that kind of allows him to go out there and play free and, 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 you know, work with his smile because, you know, he's so confident in his routine, he's so confident in the work he puts on behind the scenes and he goes out there and he's free. And I think there's a lot to say about that. So to see that up close in action, um, you know, has really surprised me because, um, you know, again, it just, just shows you how much work you got to do behind the scenes to go out there and just, you know, be a product that, uh, you know, is successful. So, um, you know, obviously I have a lot of history with Pete, but, um, you know, I'd say Francisco is the one that, uh, you know, really, you know, really made me go, wow, you know, this is, uh, you know, he's, he's a good one for sure. You've had, you grew up in this market, you've had the opportunity to already play in this market, but you're also that type of player that this market just eats up, you know, that you, anything hitting that outfield, you're going to go full out. What do you feel, um, do you feed off that energy? Yeah, listen, I want to win in this city. I want to work in this city. I want to win a championship in this city. It's always been a dream of mine. You know, to get the opportunity, I think, is uh, I'm extremely lucky. It's all there is to it. Um, and, and with that luck, I'm just comes a lot of, you know, a lot of grace on my end um, and give myself an opportunity to kind of settle in because it is a big market, like you mentioned, and there's a lot of um, moving parts, if you will, compared to other organizations I've been a part of. So just, just taking all that in and going out there and just, uh, you know, playing my game. But, uh, but listen, I'm built for this position. Um, I, I'm built to go out there and be successful for, for these, you know, for this organization in New York. Um, and again, I, I don't know what it is behind the scenes that made it happen, but to get the opportunity to go out there and, and give my, you know, give myself and my family an opportunity to prove it, it means the world to me. Uh, and that's why I play as hard as I do because I want to maximize every opportunity. So. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to lay it out there and I'm going to help this team win and that's all there is to it. Lastly, what do you think that moment's going to feel like when they announce your name opening day, fans cheering and just walking out on that field? Uh, it's going to be extremely it's extremely special. You know, last year I got to do it from afar. You know, I, I got my name announced, but I wasn't playing because I was injured last year. So, so to do it, you know, here in New York and, and to do it in this uniform, you know, I'm a very firm believer in things happening for a very specific reason. Not you know, anything beyond just things happen and, and they are what they are, but, but they do happen for a reason. And clearly something wasn't right um, with whatever I was doing last year to put myself in a position where I couldn't be ready for that opening day. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So uh, now to be fully healthy, fully confident, um, you know, in full grace, if you will. Uh, I'm just so excited. I'm going to go out there and I'm going I'm to make this organization and my teammates proud of what I can do for them. So um, I'm just excited. I know it means a lot to me and my family. They worked really, really hard to, to get me in this position. So can't wait.